I want to talk about being happy today. Ring -a -ding -ding. And at the risk of sounding cliche about this or flippant about something that a lot of us are pursuing or struggling with, I'm just going to give you kind of what I do in my life and what's really helped. There's been one simple task that has been game changing. And it's why I have this journal out. And simply this, every day I write down five things that I'm grateful for. I know we've all heard of the idea of writing down stuff that makes us happy. And I think that's good, but I wanna take it a bit of a step further and there's one small thing that I do differently when I write down. And it's been incredibly helpful for me. And honestly, it's got me through some pretty dark times in my life, besides prayer, family, and God. But it has been integral for me getting through some pretty tough seasons. And that's this, is challenging yourself every day to not just write down five things that you're grateful for, Write down five things that you don't have control over that you're grateful for, that you didn't intervene in. So what do I mean by that? That's like saying, I'm grateful that I could go for a run today. Not, I'm grateful that I did run today and I ran really fast. Just being grateful for the act that your body is healthy and that you could run is the point of that list. I challenge you to do this for at least a week, seven days straight, write down five things and write down five new things. And I promise you this, that you will feel better about your life at the end of that week. You'll realize how many things you're grateful for that you don't have control over. And this frees you up to realize the things that you do have control over, you can also be grateful for. But it doesn't put the weight entirely on your shoulders to say that you have to do it all and do it all now. And what's really cool with this exercise is that it's like building a muscle in your brain. It's the gratitude muscle. Suddenly being grateful comes easier. Suddenly you're looking around your life and you're feeling a lot more grateful for it, even in the toughest of times. And it can be the simplest thing ever. It can be that you got a text message from a friend who you hadn't heard of for a while. Or it can be the fact that it rained, just like today, and I had my plants outside. Speaking of plants, so recently I did a video about photography and about the importance of adding foreground to some of your photos. And in that case, I used a lot of plants. And some of you brought it to me your attention that you don't have plants. You're probably saying, what the heck, Mark? What am I, a botanist? What do I work at the home garden center? Do you think I live in a grow up? And no, I don't think those things. I used to be you. I had no plants. I had no soul. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but my office was pretty empty, so I decided to buy plants. And maybe plants stress you out. I know they did for me. I didn't know how to take care of them. But luckily, I came across a video, and it was on Skillshare. And man, it taught me everything I needed to know about plant care. Every seven to 10 days during the summer months and inspecting each queen to make sure that she has everything she needs in order to grow and thrive. Queen! And maybe you don't have plants. Maybe you don't want them. Maybe you've killed all your plants. Well, that's okay, because there's many classes on Skillshare. There's literally a bazillion classes. Actually, legally, I can't say a bazillion. But there's many classes about a wide variety of topics, from time management, to the best YouTube editing, to starting a business. It's seemingly endless. And what's great right now is there's a free trial for the premium membership, so you can learn about plants, or anything, including baking, or hearing from someone like Marcus Brownlee about how he does his YouTube channel. I've actually watched that video and it's been extremely helpful and it's actually helping me today, because it's rare that I do this that I write an entire script. And well, Marcus does that and it seems to be helping. So go check it out. The first thousand people who use the link below in my description and in the comment, get a free one month trial to Skillshare Premium. Go check it out, no strings attached. I love Skillshare and thank you for sponsoring this video. But let's get back to things. But coming back to this practice of gratitude, it can really help. You know, recently, and I, I know I'll stop complaining about this on this channel, I just really want to show you guys the behind the scenes from this commercial we did for the NHL, but it got taken down. I was told I couldn't put it up. I got demonetized. It was a whole thing. It was an opportunity for me to feel really crappy about myself. But when I went to my list that day when I found out, I started writing some notes for gratitude. And I started realizing that, hey, I've learned something today. I learned that I need to have better contracts in place when I'm working with big corporate clients. 
It also gave me gratitude because so many of you were so encouraging about it and were so understanding. And that was a huge moment to realize that each one of these subscribers represents someone that actually cares, that is actually interested in what I'm doing. And I'm so grateful for that. And you know what also I wrote down in my list is that I'm grateful for the direction that whole fiasco gave me. It reminded me that I don't really want to be shooting for big brands, that I rather tell the small unsung stories about people that I'm most interested in. This has been my whole career and it reminded me I should continue to pursue this about stories of people in great existential crisis who haven't had films about them before. It reminded me that I should be working on a couple more passion projects of my own that freedom is empowering and it's better than any paycheck any company could ever provide. So I leave you with this challenge, genuinely, please try this over the next week. It's every day, write down five things you're grateful for that you don't have control over, that you didn't influence. Because we spend a lot of time these days complaining and that muscle, the one of complaint, of bitterness, of anger is pretty strong right now for many of us, including myself. I have to be careful to resist that because it's so easy to feel sorry for yourself. But feeling sorry for yourself gives you like a currency to just make a lot of bad decisions. But gratitude will almost always put you on the right path and it'll attract the best people around you. But I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys on the next one.